on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 20th of April, uh, 2023. So here's the breaking news. The Rale City Health Department has activated emergency cholera response system after three confirmed and 11 suspected cholera cases were recorded in Budiro one over the past five days. According to Health Times, the 11 suspected cases and the confirmed three or element from one area in Budiro where residents get water from an unprotected water source. Speaking during a recent media science cafe organized by the Health Communicators Forum in Zimbabwe, HSCF City of Harare epidemiologist Dr. Michael Vere said they have identified and closed the well which is the source of the infections. He said we got 11 suspected cholera cases but amongst these cases three have been confirmed already. The first case was recorded on the 22nd of April and this was a 15 year old child who stays in Bulldo 1 and has got no history of travel to any of the areas affected so far by cholera in Zimbabwe or in the region. We are investigating local sources of this infection and so far what has been done is that we have taken water samples from the water sources of these 11 cases and there is a common source which is a well at one of the households of these cases. This is a well that we are suspecting. We have also closed the well and we have also collected samples from surrounding boreholes and some well close to that area and we are waiting results. Speaking at the same event, however, Arara Residents Trust HRT Director Precious Shumba criticized Arara City Council for failing to provide adequate water supply for residents. He said, cholera occurs occasionally when water supply, sanitation, food safety and hygiene are inadequate. City of Harare 2009 vending sites have no water and sanitation facilities. There are no toilets or sources of water to service the majority of vendors in the communities. Water is in short supply across the suburbs with residents largely dependent on community boroughs and shallow wells, especially in Mavuku, Tafara, Glenora, Shitungwiza, Epworth, Budiro, and Glenview. Ports of sewage bursts are not being urgently attended to when they are made to council offices dotted across the suburbs. There is very poor responsiveness of the council in tackling this health challenge. The symptoms of cholera can range from mild to severe and can include diarrhea, vomiting, muscle cramps. In severe cases, rapid loss of body fluids can lead to dehydration and shock. Cholera can be prevented by ensuring access to safe drinking water and sanitation facilities. Other preventive measures include washing hands frequently with soap and water, cooking food thorough and avoiding raw or an undercooked seafood. The disease can be treated with oral rehydration therapy or RT, which involves drinking a solution of salt, sugar and water to, re to replace fluids and electrolytes. So guys, that's the latest. And the panya call it a budro one and the inya shakwe mfura. And the ono guti kwatino garao go zimba zakabata na zisinga yete. And neku shakwe kwe mfura to zamala to chera mi godi ya gati one day. Zungwa mi godi. Ah, in Gatori near my sewer pipes, I shall take you more chair. I got you only twice about Sikana, Panyad Zakuma, Panyad Zakuata Embe, Yushan Sam Muzumbuzi, Sam Vraga Chena Garano Gudiwa, and especially in urban areas, Quatino Garataka to one day. And so we hope a city of Ferrari will do something about Nayam for a Nya Utotin Tonita, Nya Kutaka Garashungo Promisa, or she to Zoni. Takamira my chemicals, Takamira, Chitakamira, Chisaga, you know, our body patch and when it comes to your eyes. At the same time, Peregum is one of the charger married them for But as soon as I want to supply them, Vrachia, a chain, a good one, so we're going to be keeping you up to date here with the latest Panyaya cholera here on a Prince Manager Timmy TV on daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow, and attend on the notification bell. Bless up.